Hello, welcome to another tutorial with QA Automan. Uh, yesterday we talked a little bit about groups and running our groups in a test in GXML. You can look at that at video number four. Um, and today we're going to start talking about data providers. Uh, test in G has a way of <clears throat> setting up uh, multiple uh, sets of data that you can pass in into a single test and it will use that data and run that test. Um, so let's just dive into it. Um, first off, we're going to be using another annotation um, called data data provider. <coughs> and um, in here, we're going to set a name. And this is going to be the name of your data provider. Um, so in this case, we have a load page fill out email and then we have fill out password. We're going to focus on load page on this one. So what we're going to want to do is name this something say uh, pages. Uh, just like a, a good name for your data. Um, <clears throat> and we're going to use public. Um, and we're going to be using a 2D array. And I'll explain why in one second. Uh, and I usually name the name of this method uh, what I've named it. In the data provider, uh, so a finish that. Okay, so with a with the 2D array, how this works is you have anything in the X is how many times the test will run, and in the Y is what arguments you're going to be passing into the test. So, for example, um, we're going to be return new object. Okay, so it's gonna and it needs to return a a 2D array object. So this will be our x, right? So this is how many tests are gonna be running. We're gonna be doing three. Inside, we're gonna be putting in our uh, arguments. So in this case, this will be um, www.facebook.com. Uh, this one will be uh, we'll just say www google.com and uh, www.yahoo.com <clears throat> um, and you and for each of these you can put in as many as you want so you can be facebook.com and then if you say uh, I want to check um, a certain you know link uh, like a you know about page or something um, you can do that. You can put as many any different arguments too. They can be numbers. They could be doubles. They could be whatever, anything, anything you want, um, which is really really cool. Um, so we have our three URLs. Now we're gonna add this to our load page test. So first off, you're gonna want to set inside this method the arguments. So in this case, we have a string and a single string only. So string and then it's a URL, so URL. Um, now we can replace this with, because this is what we're testing for, with the URL. Um, I also noticed uh, that it's getting a title and we need to know the title of these pages. Um, so uh, in that case, I am going to add the titles. So this one's the Facebook, add Facebook. Google's is Google. Um, I'm not 100% sure what Yahoo's is. Uh, Yahoo.com. I get that in two. It's, it is just Yahoo. Great. Um, oh no. Um, we'll do Yahoo. Okay, so we actually have two arguments in our case URL and then string title. <clears throat> and then our title is what we're going to be asserting here. Okay, so now we have our argument set up. We want to now inject this data provider into this test. To do that, you add a comma. Um, you can do this for test in G um, parameters. You can set in either way, anything is just separated by commas. Um, and this one is data provider and then equals and it's looking for a name. 
our case it was pages so we have it set up we have the, our URLs our titles um, our data provider set up as pages named as pages uh, a good thing I like to do too as well um, when I put comments I'll usually put what um, the arguments are just for the future um, reference um, so I will say um, URLs oh, args URL and then um, URL uh, title page uh, it's just just so you know when you go back and you look at this you'll know what it's used for so let's run our uh, test um, so load page right click run and <clears throat> oh no query interface is not a function whoa 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 what happened for what that's weird I have not seen this error before um, uh, interesting should be just working like no problem interesting oh does it really need HTTP isn't this fun we're debugging together um, wonder I mean, this might be a thing so let and we will run this one more time oh whoa I had a lot of HTTP there okay it was it was HTTP um, that's hilarious um, I did add a thousand HTTPs um, not sure how that happened and why but I think <laughs> um, I think my keyboard actually is um, something's up with my keyboard to be honest uh, um, but anyways so if you noticed we have load page and it ran three different instances which is great uh, because they will be their own set of tests so you don't have to worry about them being combined um, and they also will tell you what you're passing in so um, it's really really useful um, especially it doesn't make it so you don't have to load page for Facebook load page for Google and like those are your set tests now you can really simplify your test classes by doing this um, now if you're like me and you want to kind of start organizing you have data here you have your tests there um, you can actually do that um, you don't have to keep your data provider inside the same test class as your tests so let's actually add a package um, it looks like I know this isn't just testing Facebook but um, I am going to be adding Q, I'm gonna changing this up. Dot com QA auto man. It's gonna be, and then we're inside. We're gonna be adding um, data. <clears throat> inside data, uh, we'll create a new one, and we're gonna call this one. Uh, this one's Facebook data. Okay. And we're going to copy paste this, or actually, we're going to cut this out of here. We don't need this here. And we're going to place it here. So now we have it in another test class. Um, so we got to get it away so we have just our test information. However, um, if I try to run this now, um, even though we've set pages, um, this test class doesn't know where the data provider is, you know, it requires a data provider. Um, we need to actually specify where the data provider is now so that's where you're gonna be adding data provider class equals and then the class which is Facebook data dot class so now we're telling this test go here look at for, find a data provider named pages and use that data so now we can take the load page test run it it will look for Facebook data dot class and should be oh, okay um, 
if you do decide to move this into another class, you have to make it static um, because you're not actually instantiating this class. So um, that is an important thing to remember. So in a new class, it has to be static. It will yell at you and you'll remember, um, but just take note of it. So running the load page test, it now will say Facebook, check Google, check Yahoo, pass, 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 um, which is uh, really, really, really useful. Um, and with with objects, um, you can do things um, before um, you submit your ob object as well. Um, if you wanted to uh, set the set data from a database or something, you can you know you could call DB from the DB. You know you return x x um, URLs or something, um, and then you can create your object and then you set how you know your x here and then however many arguments you have um, and, and do like maybe like a for loop or something so you can actually customize this as well um, and use it for any kind of particular test which is super super useful um, and if you it does the same thing too so if I wanted to run this, this the p1s um, from our uh, test in GXML. I'm going to remove test two. Um, if we just want to run this, it will run from login test. It will run just the same. Run everything uh, individually as separate tests and record them and as separate instances as well. So it even tells you what you're passing in: three ran, zero failed. So yeah, that concludes um, kind of our introduction to data providers. Um, there's not really much more to them. Um, that's pretty much it's pretty straightforward what they are. You can have um, as many data providers as you want. So if um, these were going to be emails, email name or yeah, emails, um, you can then put in emails that you want and a list of these, and then you can reuse them for multiple tests. Um, so later down the line, we, we're going to probably get into that. Um, but this was just a little introduction for uh, data providers. If you guys have any kind of question or any kind of scenario um, that you want me to touch on or um, explain, put it in the comments below. Um, I will definitely do my best to uh, create a video uh, for your particular case or instance. Um, until next, next time, um, I'll see you guys online.